All right, time for some science on WTOL 11. Your day, not just any science, egg stream science. Kristen from the Imagination Station is here. I'm ready to get a little messy. Oh, good. Well, we have eggs galore, Chris. So we have raw, we have hard boiled, but we want strictly raw eggs for our experiment. So how do you tell the difference, right? Let's find out. I know. So we could crack them open, but we need whole raw eggs in our experiment. So here's one for you, here's one for me, and we're going to put them on the table, and we're going to spin them very, very quickly, and then stop them. So keep spinning and stop. So what do you notice about my egg versus your egg? Let me see yours. So I'm spinning, and I do a quick stop. It stops. Yes. And what about yours? Mine continues to spin. Keeps going. So we have one that stops and one that keeps spinning. Which one do you think might be the raw? Mine. You think yours? Let's confirm. Go ahead and take it my tray and try and break it. You're right. Fantastic. Broke so, it. So let's think about this scientifically. What is different between the center of a hard-boiled egg versus a raw egg? It's a uh, hard-boiled one would be more like a solid. You're exactly right. It's a solid. So we have our raw egg. We can keep spinning these totally, mm -hmm. um, which has a liquid center, right? And that liquid is going to keep moving. It has enough momentum where it's going to move our shell a little bit. So raw eggs will keep spinning after they're stopped. A little inertia. I know. So we have our raw eggs. We'll move the hard boils to the side. So we saw this cracked. Eggs are fragile things, right? They are. So what I want you to do is we're going to try to break a raw egg in our hands. I'll do it on my left. You can do yours any hand you okay. want. Okay. Kind of cushioning it in your hand. And then I've actually us. tried this before, and if you do it right, you won't be able to break it, correct? I, I don't know. you got to test it, right? So if you do it right, maybe you want to open this up that way. So are you having any luck? No. No? All right. So most of the time, you have to be crazy strong, super strong to break it open, right? I'm squeezing this egg. I know. You are very squeezing. hard. I can see beads of sweat. But <laughs> with our egg, it's really hard to get a raw egg to burst apart. Think about a chick, though. They have no problem when they're being born bursting through that shell. So, huh. Now that brings us to our arch over here. So my egg is round like this dome of this arch. And watch what happens when I put pressure on my arch. Mm -hmm. So that force is exerted evenly throughout the outside of my arch. But now, Chris, I'm going to take your egg. I want you to take two fingers because those are going to be like the beak of a chicken. Chickens come from the outside, right? Or, excuse inside. me, the inside. Kay. Yes. So I want you to pick a point and then just tap like a chick with its beak. So you can see coming from the inside has a lot more success and that pressure causes that egg to break open. Nature's way of shaping it. I know nature is pretty good at that, right? Very cool. So eggs are really, really strong. Eggs can break. Do you think an egg can support a cinder block being put on top of it? Well, based on our earlier demonstration of distributing that force, I say, well, let's give it a try. I know. So maybe one egg is a little bit lofty, but we have a dozen eggs, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the cinder block and we are going to lift it on our 12 eggs. We'll see if we can do it. I know. So we'll see if we can make it support these cinder blocks. So oh, let's use those muscles okay. and we're going to try and Get this nice and even. Are we good? And slowly and softly, we're going to put this on top. Uh-oh. Oh, no, right? So I told you they were raw, right? Yes. I know. So You proved it. I know. What we have here, though, this isn't the best experiment because, I mean, we have a bunch of different variables, right? We have eggs of all different sizes. Some are really high. Some are really high. And there was probably a lot of pressure being put on one egg versus another. So it wasn't even, is you're what you're exactly saying. Exactly right. Okay. So it wasn't even. So I know how we can do this to make it work. Ah, crunched another one. So we have our bottle caps here. And I'm going to set up. We do this sometimes with four eggs. Okay. Do you think we can do this with four eggs? I don't think you'd be trying it if you didn't think we could do it. So I'm let's give it a go. I'm confident that we can do this with four eggs. So I'm setting up four bottle caps on the bottom. Okay. We'll just put this in the midst of the rest of the raw eggs. We have our raw eggs. I'm going to set these up. And here is what I'm going to do differently with my four eggs. I'm going to put bottle caps on top of the four eggs. Now I'm lining these up nicely and neatly. I'm spacing them out a little bit and I'm going to grab four more bottle caps to put on the top. And what this is going to do is rather than our cinder block pressing down and applying pressure at one point, we have a ring of pressure pressing down on our eggs. So here we go. Getting So we weren't successful with a dozen eggs, but we're going to try four but evenly distributing the pressure. Exactly. So we're okay. going to try something a little bit different, right? Eggs and engineering. All right. Are you ready to help me lift? Okay. All right. Nice and even. Here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> 
I knew you weren't. I knew you weren't going to try that if it wasn't going to work. So very cool that we were able to do that with just four eggs. Mm -hmm. Extreme science going on at the Imagination Station, correct? Oh yeah, going on all the way until April 19th. Lots of eggs. And this weekend, Saturday, you're having the uh, Extreme Egg Drop Challenge yes. as well. Yes, Extreme Egg Drop Challenge. People can do a little engineering and make whatever container they like. Try to drop an egg from how high? Do you do uh, it? Many, many feet. Many, many feet. And the idea is not to have it breaks. So that will be this Saturday. All right. Thank you so much, Kristen, for that. When w